Matthew chapter 5 verses 3 through 12. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Our Savior here gives eight characters of blessed people, which represent to us the principal graces of a Christian. One, the poor in spirit are happy. These bring their minds to their condition when it is a low condition. They are humble and lowly in their own eyes. They see their want, bewail their guilt, and thirst after a redeemer. The kingdom of grace is of such. The kingdom of glory is for them. Two, those that mourn are happy that godly sorrow which worketh true repentance, watchfulness, a humble mind, and continual dependence for acceptance on the mercy of God in Christ Jesus, with constant seeking the Holy Spirit. To cleanse away the remaining evil seems here to be intended. Heaven is the joy of our Lord, a mountain of joy to which our way is through a veil of tears. Such mourners shall be comforted by their God. Three, the meek are happy. The meek are those who quietly submit to God. Who can bear insults? Are silent or return a soft answer? Who, in their patience, keep possession of their own souls? When they can scarcely keep possession of anything else. These meek ones are happy, even in this world. Meekness promotes wealth, comfort, and safety, even in this world. For those who hunger and thirst after righteousness are happy. Righteousness is here put for all spiritual blessings. These are purchased for us by the righteousness of Christ confirmed by the faithfulness of God. Our desires of spiritual blessings must be earnest, though all desires for grace are not grace. Yet such a desire as this is a desire of God's own raising, and he will not forsake the work of his own hands. 5. The merciful are happy. We must not only bear our own afflictions patiently, but we must do all we can to help those who are in misery. We must have compassion on the souls of others and help them. Pity those who are in sin and seek to snatch them as brands out of the burning. 6. The pure in heart are happy, for they shall see God. Here holiness and happiness are fully described and put together. The heart must be purified by faith and kept for God, creating me such a clean heart. O oh God, none but the pure are capable of seeing God, nor would heaven be happiness to the impure, as God cannot endure to look upon their iniquity, so they cannot look upon his purity. 7. The peacemakers are happy, they love and desire and delight in peace and study to be quiet. They keep the peace that it be not broken and
and recover it when it is broken. If the peacemakers are blessed, woe to the peacebreakers. 8. Those who are persecuted for righteousness sake are happy. This saying is peculiar to Christianity, and it is more largely insisted upon than any of the rest. Yet there is nothing in our sufferings that can merit of God. But God will provide that those who lose for him, though life itself, shalt not lose by him in the end. Blessed Jesus.